right here we have a problem where we are given that x squared minus y squared is 24, x times y is 35, so what we need to find is what x plus y is. There are many solutions to this problem, but today we're just going to go over two. So the first one requires actual solving, and the second one requires a mindset to solve it. Let's, let's do the first one. So what we have to do here is we have to, since we are given that x times y is 35, we, ha we have to make this original equation have only one variable, so we can do that by dividing a one variable in this equation. Let's do y because it's easier. So y is equal to 35 over x. So when you bring this value of y into the original equation, we get that x squared minus 35 squared over x squared. That's just this 35 over x squared. This is equal to 24 and we immediately see a problem there is there's a fraction here being divided by x squared and to get rid of that x squared we have to multiply both sides by x squared so x squared times x squared is x to the fourth power x to the fourth power minus 35 squared we got rid of the x squared and then we move the 24 x squared to this side so minus 24 x squared is equal to zero. Zero right there. Now um, we can move these numbers around a bit. So this is just x to the fourth power minus 24 x squared minus, well, th 35 squared is just 1,225 by applying the multiplication rule and this is equal to zero. Now we use cross multiplication um, to figure this out. So let's just draw that. One, one. There are two ones from the x to the fourth power. Um, so from the two, 1,225 we, after some extent, we find that to get negative 24, our numbers are negative 49 and 20, positive 25. Now that we've figured those numbers out, we can bring those numbers into a new equation. So x squared, x squared plus 25 times x squared minus 49 is equal to zero. Now we have two answers here, where um, x squared is equal to negative 25, and x squared is equal to 49. We know that this first value of x squared will not work because it's a negative, and a negative cannot be square root. So our only correct answer is x squared is equal to 49. And according to that logic, x is equal to positive or negative 7. Now we know that this is positive or negative 7. We are given that x times y is 35. So 7 times an x, or 7 times y is 35. That y is 5. But it's also positive or negative 5. So what x plus y is, this, since it's positive or negative, x plus y is equal to positive or negative 12. Right there. And that is the first way of solving this problem. The second solution to this problem is one where you have to really think about it. We know that x times y is 35, and 35 can be broken into 7 times 5. Now we quick, quickly notice that 7 and 5 are prime numbers, meaning that they cannot be broken up into e even smaller factors. 
So we know that x, well, 7 and 5, those are our x and y. And we know which one's which because on the first um, part of this problem, we are given that x squared minus y squared is a value above 0. So we know that x squared is greater than y squared. So x is greater than y. And since these are our two values, x is positive, is positive or negative 7, and y is equal to positive or negative 5. Notice that um, it's either positive, both, or both negative, since they both come out with the same outcome on both of these terms. Uh, so now we have our x and y values here. We need to find what x plus y is. So x plus y is equal to, it's not 12, positive or negative 12, because there's a positive and negative being included. So positive or negative 12. And that is our answer.